Hi family, welcome to my channel, Mobile Entertainment. For those of you who don't know, I also have a TikTok account at Mobile Entertainment. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel here. Please don't forget to follow me there. Um, for those of you who are back again, thank you so much for coming back. You are basically family, so hey fam. Um, today I want to talk about what is very shocking, especially to me and, and I'm sure um, you watching this, um, it also came as a shock to you that you know what was you know a battle of cancer has ended ultimately um in this way zolega mandela passed away on the 25th of september um due to an ongoing battle with cancer if you want a full statement please head over to our instagram account um if the family spokesperson has uploaded a detailed statement of her passing but in this video I want to talk about how I will remember Zolega Mandela. I think the first time I got to understand what Zolega had been through, you know, experiences was when she published her book, When Hope Whispers. And when I finally got my hands on that book, I couldn't hold back my tears. And I'm just going to read um, a little extract of what she had posted leading up to to what was her, her book launch um where she then speaks about her addiction she said i had my first drink at nine and first blackout at the age of 13. by then i had become an alcoholic and stole marijuana to feed my addiction an attempt to numb my suicide suicidal thoughts the feelings of self-blame anger and hurt from the sexual abuse and physical abuse I experienced as a four-year-old child. Just reading that, um, I realized that this actually was a woman of strength. Yes, she went through what she went through, but this was a woman who refused to be defined by her experiences. And she took the nudge and she decided to to go into rehab and by the time she was about four months clean and sober another tragedy she lost her 13 year old daughter who was a nanny um, to a fatal car accident and i remember in her book she depicts how you know she had to find herself choosing a coffin for her daughter i'm trying to imagine because i am a mother i'm trying to imagine what that must have been like and i just want to read an extract from her book where she writes that on that day i couldn't believe that i was upstairs you know picking a coffin while my daughter lay alone and cold in one of the rooms below me how does a mother who loves her child walk away from that at the funeral home i was given the belongings that she'd had with her in the car she had with her so many clothes that evening all of which were now covered in blood in the plastic bag from Gubana Funerals was a gold and black baby fat jacket of mine that I'd never worn, but which I knew Zanani had loved. So this is someone who had been through, you know, being a sex addict, being a drug addict, being an alcoholic, and now having lost her two children. And when I followed her on her Instagram account, I really expected to see a broken person. I really expected to see, you know, what is typical of traumas. And all I saw was a woman of strength. All I saw was someone who, you know, refused to allow situations to define her. And at the time, after having, you know, lost a mother myself, I really just wanted someone to tell me that it is going to be okay. And, you know, when I started following her on her Instagram account, I promise you, I never left that account the same. I never, it, it, she was almost like a, a mother or, an, you know, an aunt, an older aunt who would tell me that, you know what, I've been through the worst. If I can make it out of what I've been through, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. And, you know, just subsequent to her death, she she would 
um, you know, just write about her experiences. So basically her Instagram account turned into her diary, a very beautiful story to read. And I really commend um, Uzolega for, for not trying to, sugar, to sugarcoat um, what traumas can do to a person, not trying to sugarcoat her experiences. Uh, because a lot of people that we know, a lot of people who are popular, really sell us fake lives, really sell us um, what actually isn't what they're going through. Uzolega has a very, very, very refreshing honesty about her. So I really love the fact that um, she's one of the people that you can go and read about her. And it's almost like you know the person. And I've never had to pray for someone I don't know or haven't seen, guys, you don't understand. The way I prayed for Zolek, you know, just to get past um, her chemotherapy, just to make it past that. I really just want to pass my condolences to the Medela family. They've really lost um, a pillar. Someone who was honest about life, someone who was honest about what it took to overcome addiction, someone who's honest about her journeys, someone who, someone who was willing to share what she went through in hopes that she, you know, could help someone else get over that. And you can't buy that. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you've had a similar experience, please feel free to comment on the comment section about how, you know, your life has been impacted, even if it's just from... Um, following her, if it's from reading her book. Um, I think this is just a moment where we need to celebrate who she was, what she stood for.